with with Optimus three, which is really the right design. It's like it doesn't have it, at this point. There's no no significant significant flaws with the Optimus three design, but it, 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 we are going to retool a bunch of things. So it's going to probably be prototypes of Optimus three end of this year, and then scale production next year. We're going to try to scale Optimus production as fast as it's humanly possible to, to do so and try to get to a million units a year as quickly as possible. Back in March 2025, during an internal company meeting, Elon Musk announced bold plans to build thousands of Optimus robots this year. With the next scale-up phase targeting 50,000 units in 2026 and a jaw-dropping 500,000 units by 2027. But then came June 2025. Reports confirmed that Tesla's Optimus production was paused due to technical challenges and current builds were still being assembled manually, with serious limitations on scalability. But a surprise twist came in late July. Tesla confirmed that a large number of Optimus robots have now been produced, though not for consumer use just yet. Instead, they're being deployed for internal purposes only. The real kicker? These bots feature a never-before-seen design, one that hasn't been shown to the public. Even more impressive, production has now ramped up to a rate of 1,000 units per month. Optimus version 3 is expected to handle up to 3,000 useful tasks, and the first production-run units are set to launch at $10,990. So, what will the Gen 3 Tesla bot actually look like? And what exactly are these 3,000 useful tasks? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Tesla's second quarter earnings call just wrapped up. The energy was palpable, as Elon Musk confirmed several major updates about the upcoming Tesla Bot version 3. Most notably, a massive design overhaul compared to the current 2.5 version we've seen so far. Now we all know that design isn't the most critical factor in a humanoid robot, but let's be honest, it still matters. Nobody wants to bring home a robot that looks like a terrifying Terminator, right? But that's just the beginning. Musk made it clear that Tesla Bot Gen 3 will feature significantly more degrees of freedom. If you know even a little about humanoid robotics, you'll understand just how big of a deal that is. It directly affects how human-like the robot can be, in both movement and functionality. Right now, Tesla has already been producing Optimus units for internal use. But once this humanoid robot actually reaches consumers, it could look like an entirely different product. At least, that's what Elon Musk hinted at during the second quarter earnings call. When Optimus was first unveiled at Tesla's AI Day event back in 2021, the company had nothing more than a static model of the humanoid robot and a person in a robot suit dancing awkwardly on stage. Yep, that was it. But over the years, Tesla has steadily revealed increasingly advanced versions of the Optimus robot, culminating in Gen 2 and 2.5, which are now actively in production. During Tesla's all-hands meeting in the first quarter 2025, CEO Elon Musk told employees that the company will aim to produce the first true army of Optimus robots by the end of this year. We, we hopefully will be able to make about... Um 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically, uh, we're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. But since it's a totally new product with totally new, you know, like everything is totally new, um, I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10th. At the time, most expectations pointed toward Tesla continuing with mass production of Optimus Gen 2.5, perhaps with a few key upgrades, like the addition of hands with 22 degrees of freedom. And honestly, that speculation made a lot of sense. After all, Optimus Gen 2 already moved impressively well, and its design looked far more refined than most humanoid robots from competing companies. But by the time the second quarter 2025 earnings call rolled around, Elon Musk made one thing crystal clear. When Optimus enters full-scale production, it will feature the version 3 design. Translation? The first Optimus units shipped to customers won't look like the Gen 2.5 robots Tesla's been using internally since 2023. They'll be something completely different. Elon Musk sounded genuinely optimistic about the potential of Optimus Gen 3, calling its design elegant, and once again reiterating his bold prediction. Optimus could become Tesla's biggest product ever. 
Uh, yeah, so the Optimus, Optimus 3 design, as I mentioned earlier, is I think finally the right design. There will be further optimizations, but there are no, I think, no fundamental changes to that are needed for the Optimus 3 design. It has all the degrees of freedom that you really want um, or need. Musk added that the design of Optimus 3 is elegant. This time, he emphasized that every part of Optimus has been engineered based on fundamental physics principles. With version 3, the robot has been almost completely redesigned compared to version 2.5. According to leaks, Optimus 3 will feature a front-facing digital display and Grok voice support, something Musk had previously confirmed. The screen will show the bot's current status along with any information the user wants to look up. Put simply, it's like having a computer screen right on the Tesla bot's face. As for the body, Tesla is reportedly aiming for a lighter overall design in order to improve Optimus's walking speed. It still hasn't hit the company's goal of 5 miles per hour. It's unclear exactly how Tesla's engineering team plans to make that happen. They might switch to lighter materials or redesign the still rough joint structure. But according to Elon Musk, the new design is going to be something extraordinary, and it's expected to be revealed later this year. If our prediction is right, Elon Musk could unveil Tesla Bot version 3 at the biggest event this November, Tesla Shareholder, meeting 2025. And that would make perfect sense, especially since Musk has already hinted at the idea of a few Optimus robots making an onstage appearance during the annual shareholder event. As it stands, Optimus version 2.5 is limited to around 1,500 basic tasks. But with version 3, that number could easily double. Why? Because the robot will be able to perform a wider range of actions. For example, while Optimus 2.5 might be able to hold an egg without breaking it, Optimus 3 could take it a step further, crack the egg, cook it, and serve a perfect fried egg. You get the idea. More degrees of freedom mean greater precision and increased flexibility. So, hitting 3,000 useful tasks? Honestly, not that surprising. That said, along with all the excitement about this next-gen version, Elon Musk also acknowledged the reality. Building Tesla, bot version 3, is an insanely hard problem. He made it clear that none of the components are off the shelf because, frankly, nothing out there really fits the needs of a robot this advanced. From motors and gearboxes to power electronics and sensors, every single part has been custom designed by Tesla from the ground up. Musk stated bluntly, they even have to train Optimus to use its limbs and sensors via neural networks. What's interesting is that, once again, Musk drew a direct comparison between Optimus and Tesla's electric vehicles, saying both are essentially robots, just in different forms. He emphasized that Tesla is applying the same AI optimization techniques used in its self-driving cars to the development of Optimus. That includes using neural networks to train the robot's limbs and sensors, just like it does for full self-driving. And on the hardware side, Tesla is making big moves, too. The company recently committed $16.5 billion in investment with Samsung Electronics to produce its next-gen AI6 chips, a key component powering both Tesla's autonomous vehicles and the Optimus robot. Tesla has locked in a game-changing $16.5 billion chip supply deal with Samsung Electronics with production of custom AI chips set to take place at Samsung's brand-new semiconductor facility in Taylor, Texas. This multi-year agreement, confirmed by Tesla CEO Elon Musk after Samsung filed for regulatory approval, will remain in effect through December 31, 2033, and focus on Tesla's next-gen AI6 chips. These chips are a critical part of scaling Tesla bot production, with at least 5,000 units planned for 2025. The new AI6 chip, designed specifically for Tesla Bot Gen 3, further deepens Tesla's commitment to custom silicon as the backbone for real-time decision-making platforms. So what exactly can Tesla Bot Gen 3 do with those 3,000 new tasks? At the 2024 annual shareholder meeting, Elon Musk stated, our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. It will be able to play the piano. So it's really like, Wow. Just as many predicted, the Optimus robot is being upgraded to Generation 3 with a number of remarkable improvements. Musk even described it as something resembling C-3PO from Star Wars, in real life. But that's not even the most surprising thing Musk has said about Tesla's humanoid robot. 
Tesla may be able to produce this robot for only $10,000. And according to Musk, thousands of Optimus units could be operating inside Tesla factories by 2025. Those numbers sound crazy, and yet Musk has once again confirmed the expected price. And perhaps most astonishing of all, Elon Musk recently claimed that Tesla's Optimus robot could help the company reach a $25 trillion market value, more than half the combined value of every company currently in the S&P 500. Hard to believe? Maybe. It's fascinating to hear Elon Musk talk about the potential of humanoid robots, in much the same way he once spoke about Tesla's electric vehicles, back in 2007 and 2008, with a sense of limitless possibility. One of the first surprises Musk mentioned about Optimus is that it could eventually be customized to understand people, understand its owner. We all know that for now Optimus doesn't have much tech inside, mainly just 2D cameras. But that's far from the endgame. In future upgrades, we're likely to see far more advanced features, including interactive displays and voice capabilities. Musk pointed out, you'll be able to customize its personality, customize its voice, and over time, the robot will understand you better. It'll know your preferences. You won't even need to say anything. It'll just understand you. That means we could one day build an Optimus that's shaped by our own personality traits, habits, and behaviors. Owners may even be able to customize their robot's voice, choosing between male or female, different regional accents, or even adjusting communication speed depending on the set language. We already imagined how smart Optimus could become with Tesla's advanced AI and neural network training, but honestly, hearing Musk lay it out like this. With most humanoid robots we've seen so far, when you first bring them home, you typically spend months or even years teaching them how to do basic tasks. But with Optimus, or more specifically according to Musk, Tesla bot users won't need to walk it through every little instruction. Instead, the robot will be able to automatically understand and react based on context and the user's habits. Optimus can make predictions and take action based on what it's learned from just a short period of interaction. For example, rub your stomach and it knows you're hungry. Making a sandwich? No problem with its 22 degrees of freedom compared to a human's 27. Or frown and point at the lawn, an optimist might head out and start mowing it. No verbal command needed. That's exactly the kind of intuitive learning Elon Musk was talking about. And honestly, it's kind of amazing. Of course, Optimus still requires training today, but in just a few years, it won't need intensive instruction beyond simply watching a video or observing someone perform a task. According to Musk, training will eventually become much more generalized, and by 2026, you'll be able to ask it to complete a wide variety of tasks, even ones it's never done before. As of now, we still don't know exactly what Optimus Gen 3 is capable of, but Elon Musk has predicted that one day, the robot could behave like a real-world version of R2-D2, or C3-PO, from Star Wars. Optimus could become something everyone wants to have. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to handle at least 70 tasks, compared to the human hand's estimated 100-task capability, powered by its 27 degrees of freedom. Beyond just playing the piano, as mentioned earlier, Musk also claimed that his humanoid robot could thread a needle, which may sound exaggerated, but actually falls within Optimus's skill range. In fact, many experts agree, Optimus's hands may represent the most advanced technology on the market right now, especially when stacked up against other humanoid robot makers. And let's be honest, the demand for humanoid robots is going to explode in the next decade. Everyone's going to want a homemaker of their own. It's no coincidence that Musk is now laser-focused on robots instead of electric cars. But perhaps the biggest shock in the entire robotics industry? Elon Musk's claim that Tesla can mass-produce Optimus for just $10,000 and sell it for $20,000 per unit. That's right, Tesla absolutely can produce these robots for just $10,000 once the company reaches full-scale mass production supported by a dedicated gigafactory built specifically for humanoid robots. Of course, that's not going to happen right away. And let's be honest. The $20,000 price tag per Optimus isn't exactly what Musk meant. At least, not in the short term. We have to acknowledge that. Sure, it'll still be cheaper than anything else on the market, but not next year. That $20,000 price point 
it sounds more like a 2028 or 2030 reality. And we say that because Musk recently confirmed that Tesla plans to lease the technology first, before opening up direct sales. Which means actually buying one won't be easy at first. Leasing just makes more sense in the early phase. By 2028 and beyond, Tesla could be generating hundreds of billions in annual profit from Optimus alone. That kind of valuation? Absolutely insane, and it's all based on a robot. As production ramps up, Optimus will scale much faster, and while early units may seem complex and expensive, they won't stay that way. With large-scale manufacturing, this robot could soon become even more scalable than Tesla's electric vehicles. While Elon Musk hasn't gone into great detail about the current development timeline for Optimus, he did hint at a much clearer plan for how these humanoid robots will be used inside Tesla's own factories. In just two years, Optimus has made incredible progress, with its task capabilities expanding rapidly. The latest example? It can now sort 4680 battery cells off the production line and even correct errors automatically. Because of these impressive abilities, Musk revealed that Tesla may have 1,000 or more Optimus robots working inside its electric vehicle factories as early as next year. Now, let's be clear. We're not endorsing replacing people with robots, but sometimes there are realities we have to face. By 2030, Tesla's human workforce could shrink by as much as 60%, simply due to the rise of robots like Optimus. These machines operate 24 per 7 without rest. And even when the battery runs low, it only takes about five minutes to fully recharge, thanks to a compact 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that charges fast. It could save Tesla hundreds of thousands of dollars per year per robot compared to paying a human worker. Cheaper, more efficient, faster, and almost unbelievably accurate. Let's face it, humans just can't compete with that level of precision and robots don't come with labor laws. Whether we're ready or not, the age of factory automation is already here. In a world filled with overhyped promises and flashy demos, Tesla's Optimus stands apart as a truly transformative force in humanoid robotics. While many companies focus on attention-grabbing tricks, Optimus quietly shifts the boundaries of what's possible. Picture a robot that speaks with the ease of Sophia, moves with the agility of Atlas, and offers support on par with Toyota's THR3. Only this one does it all with near-total autonomy. With 99% of its actions requiring no human input, Optimus isn't just an innovation. It's a revolution. The latest version, Optimus Gen 3, showcases just how far Tesla has pushed the envelope. This is no clunky machine. It handles tasks requiring delicacy and precision, like lifting a glass or unscrewing a jar lid. It can even assemble small devices with remarkable coordination. One key advancement from the previous model is an added joint in the hands, giving it better grip and control. If Tesla truly manages to mass-produce the Optimus Gen 3 robot for just $10,000, should governments step in to regulate how and where these humanoid robots are used? Or should the market decide their role in society? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.